Hello, I'm Michael Mann from Bike Social and welcome to Madrid. We're here at the International Press riding launch of this. It's Triumph's new Bonneville Bobber, brand new for 2017 and the latest uh, instalment in Triumph's modern classic Bonneville range. It uses the 1200cc uh, parallel twin liquid cool engine straight out of the T120 that was uh, announced last year, but it's been slightly retuned. Uh, new air intake, uh, new air boxes, new exhaust, and the slightly retuned gives it uh, a bit more grunt, uh, lower down, and then towards the mid-range, about 4,000 RPM, it makes uh, a little bit more power than the T120, um, and then maxes out at about 76 horsepower. Now, this bike's not about power. It's about style and it's about substance. And we've uh, ridden about 130 miles through Madrid, through some of the towns and villages north of Madrid, taking some of the, you know, more slower roads, some of the potholes, just have to have suspension, and then onto some real beautiful, fast flowing roads, some open hairpins, to test out the bike's agility and performance, which for me has been the most surprising part of this package. You know, on paper, a bobber, so a single seat unit, wide, high bars, nice uh, short mug guards on a traditional sort of bobber from the 40s. The resurgence of the bobber with this custom scene has, uh, has, has led Triumph to develop the sort of production model. And this version sort of fits in with that style, uh, but it also has the sort of the characteristics in its engine, so it gives that low down torque. And like I said, the most surprising part was its agility. So it's heavy, it's about 228 kilograms dry, it's about the same as a Honda Africa Twin, for example, but because its center of gravity is so low and you're in a quite a, a decent position, not, you know, not sort of a crazy bobber style position, but a, a, a reasonably supportive position, um, it holds the road ever so ever so well. Avon Cobra tyres, 19 on the front, 16 on the rear, and those steel rims, uh, wire spoke wheels. And it, it drives so beautifully out of the corners using that torque, low down. Red line's about 7,000, you won't ever need to get above six, really. And, and the gears are so tall, it really helps um, pull out of those corners. A single disc on the front, not that mega. I tended to use the rear brake quite a bit as well to steady the bike going into the corners. Um, I'm not usually a, a rear brake kind of guy, but on this occasion, with this bike, with this weight, you kind of needed to. Uh, the rear view mirrors are really good. It's got ride-by-wire uh, throttles, so it's a really kind of smooth delivery. There's two riding maps, uh, road and rain. It can be changed on the fly. Uh, there's a mode setting on the, on the right-hand side of the bar to stick the clutch and away you go. Uh, and that just, it doesn't, it doesn't restrict power in rain mode. It just restricts, uh, or just changes the, the way in which the power is delivered. What else? We've got track control. You can be turned on or off and uh, an ABS as well. Don't tend to interfere too much, uh, more of a sort of a gentle nudge than someone punching the face. Look, this um, has been a, a really su a surprise package for me. It's style, it's substance, it's got a, some great power. It's a beautiful engine though with these, uh, these pea shooter style silencers. Uh, and it really is a joy to listen to. I can't wait to start riding this one again when it comes to the UK, uh, which will be around about the middle of February 2017. Prices start at 10,500 pounds for the jet black version. It comes in four colors, jet black, 10,500. This, the Morello Red, is an extra 125 pounds, uh, as is the um, Iron Stone. And then there's a competition green and silver version, which is an extra 300 pounds on top of the 10,500. It's 150 or so accessories, Triumph say, and they range from seat units, different mud guards, uh, Vance and Hines silencers, for example. And there's even a couple of inspiration kits available too. Look, you can read the full review at bikesocial.co.uk.